using a Netflix proxy in 2018, including a live demonstration. When Netflix was first released, it was only available in about a dozen countries. If you travelled outside those areas, your subscription just wouldn't work. For anyone who travelled a lot, this was extremely frustrating. However, after a while, they soon found a solution, which was eventually used by millions across the world. By using a proxy server, you could hide your real location and access your Netflix account from anywhere. However, when Netflix expanded into many more countries, they initiated a complete block on proxies. Here's what you'll see if you try and watch Netflix using a proxy now. Yet people still wanted to hide their real lo location for one important reason. All Netflix regions are not the same. In fact, some versions have thousands more films, movies and TV shows than others. The US and Canadian versions of Netflix have by far the biggest libraries. So people then turn to using VPNs in order to get the best value from their Netflix account and to watch all the latest shows and movies. In 2017, Netflix blocked most of those too by blocking any VPN which had a commercial IP address, which was actually pretty much all of them. Now only two or three VPN servers still allow access to Netflix in 2018, as they've invested in a residential network required to access Netflix today. Here's one of them, Identity Cloaker. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you one of the few VPNs that still works with Netflix in 2018. Okay, now as you're probably aware, Netflix is available in most countries in the world now, but um, the content varies greatly depending on which version you're in. For instance, the versions in um, the US and Canada have thousands more movies, films, shows, and way more up-to-date stuff as well than Netflix in maybe South American countries and some European countries. There really is quite a big difference. Um, now, your Netflix account is actually global and it, it will follow you around. So if you were to travel to the US, you would get the US version of Netflix. If you're in the UK, you'll get the UK version and so on. But using a VK, VPN, you can bypass this and I'm going to show you how. Okay, now this is a VPN called Identity Cloaker. Now, there are lots of VPNs that claim that work with Netflix, but after 2017, 99% of them don't because they basically have to have a, a residential IP network to work. They're very expensive and quite difficult to get hold of. So there's only a few VPNs that work now. And I'm going to show you how Identicloaker works. Okay, now Identicloaker I use normally for BBC, ITV and all the UK TV programs, but there's some good stuff on US and Canadian. Depends obviously where you're from. Um, but now I'm going to stroll down here, looking at all the servers, and I'm going to find a US server. Okay, I'm going to find the quickest US server to me. There's one of them. Make sure it doesn't switch. There's a little switch there where that's there for security reasons, that it'll switch to a different country, but I want to stay in America. So I'm going to close that now and I'm going to start um, Google Chrome. Let's just Close that, and I'm going to go to Netflix. Okay, now when I'm going to Netflix now, I'm in the UK, but because I'm connected to a US version of Netflix, I've actually gone through to the US version. Okay, so this has got all the different stuff now. For instance, you can see here, um, it's got all the versions of persons of interest now i know this because i was completely addicted to this uh movie this um tv series but they only had the four series on um uk and it's the same with things like z nation there's another one loads of shows are on the us one that are not on the uk one so i fire up my us vpn uh let's just click i won't play this for very long because you tend to get problems from youtube if you Play all this copyrighted material so just gonna th and there we go okay that's the us version of um netflix watched from the uk now identity cloaker only 
puts these residential IP addresses to the US version. So I can watch the US version from anywhere, but I can't watch the Japanese version or I can't use the um, French servers to watch French Netflix. It won't work. It'll work for all the other um, TV channels and stuff, just Netflix. At the moment, they've only got the US version and they're testing the UK version of Netflix as well. As I said, it's really expensive to get these IP addresses and they want to keep the price down. Okay, so that's how you can watch US version of Netflix anywhere in the world. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye. In order to minimize costs and keep their subscriptions low, Identicloaker will actively detect when you make a connection to Netflix. Only then will your VPN be routed through a US residential IP address, which allows you access to the awesome US Netflix cap. You can try it out for yourself using the discount code on this video. Or visit httpidentityvoucher.co.uk if you'd like more details.